if you born poor it's not your mistake but if you die poor it's your mistake this is called by bill gates is one of the richest person of the world so let's talk about bill gates bill gates was born on october 28 1955 in city in family having rich business political and community service background his great grandfather was a state legislator and a mayor his grandfather was vice president of national bank and his father was a lawyer bill believed in achieving his goal through hard work he also believed that if you are intelligent and know how to use your intelligence you can reach your goals and targets from his early days bill was ambitious competitive and intelligent his qualities helped him to attain great position in the profession he chose also bill was teamed by his peers and his teacher as the smartest kid on campus bill's parents came to know their son in tumors and decided to enroll him in a private school known for its intense academic environment that was the most important decision in bill gates life prior to his first introduced computers bill gates and his friends were very much interested in computers and formed programmers group in late 1968 being in this group they found a new way to apply the computer skill in university of washington in the next year they got their first opportunity in information science inc in which they were selected as programmers ISR Information Science INC agreed to give them royalties whenever it made money from any of the group's program as a result of the business deal signed with Information Science INC the group also became a legal business Bill Gates and his close friend Allen for a new company of their own craft product They develop a small computer to measure traffic flow from this project to earn around $20,000. The era of the traffic quota came to an end when Gates left the college. Upon graduating from Lakeside Bill, enrolled in Harvard University in 1973, one of the best universities in the country. He didn't know what to do, so he enrolled his name for P-Law. He took the standard freshman courses with the exception of singing up for one of Harvard's toughest mathematics courses. He did well over there, but he couldn't find it interesting too. He spent many long nights in front of the school's computer and the next day asleep in class. After leaving school, he also almost lost himself from the world of computers gates and his friends paul allen remain in close contact even through they were away from school they would often discuss new ideas for future projects and the possibility of the starting a business one fine day at the end of bill's first year allen came close to him so that they could follow some of the ideas summer they got job in Honeywell Allen kept on pushing Bill for opening a new software company within a year Bill Gates dropped out from the Harvard then he formed Microsoft Microsoft Vision is a computer or every desk and Microsoft software or every computer Bill is a visionary person and works very hard to achieve his vision his belief is her intelligence and hard work has put him where he is today He doesn't believe in mere luck or god grace but just hard work and competitiveness. Bill's Microsoft is good competition for other software companies and he will continue to stomp out the competition until he dies. He likes to play the game of risks and the game of the world domination. His beliefs are so powerful which have helped him increase his wealth and his monopoly in the industry bill gates is not a greedy person in fact he is quite 
giving person when it comes to computer internet or any kind of funding. Some years back he visited Chicago's Einstein Elementary School and announced grants benefiting Chicago School and Museum where he donated a total one lakh dollar a bunch of computers and provide internet connectivity to a number of schools. Secondly, Bill Gates donated thirty-eight million dollars for the building of a computer institute at Stanford University. So thank you very much for giving me the time. If you like my video, then subscribe me.